Hit that jab, jab. Put it in pocket till I get back. I'm going downtown to see a man. You know what's crazy to me? I was just thinking about it, right? I hear all these 20-year-olds, 30-year-olds, right? And they're like pissed as shit because they don't make $100,000 a year or they don't, they're not a millionaire yet or, you know, they do entrepreneur shit and their business isn't successful and they're 30 years old and, you know, we have this, like, stigma now in this world where by the time you're a certain age you're supposed to have a certain amount of stuff right so it blows my mind right because you're young as shit 30 years old isn't old is not old at all right i watch a lot of gary v gary v didn't start his business till he was 34 years old he didn't make over a hundred grand until he was 34 years old. He was working at his, at his father's liquor store, right? Now he's a multi, multi millionaire. But it takes time, right? Just because you're 20, 30 years old and you're not a millionaire yet, like that's just like crazy to me that people think that. Like it's a process. It takes time. It takes, you know, energy. Day after day after day, you got to put in your craft or whatever you're doing to make your your you know business or whatever you're doing to invest or your job or your side hustle like people just bitch and bitch and bitch about the dumbest shit because they're not rich by 25 years old i'm not a millionaire oh my god like are you fucking kidding me you got like three more lives if you're 25 years old you're probably gonna live at least three more of them lives think about that that's a long fucking time to live because the average age now is 75 years old right Think about it. Colonel Sanders didn't start Kentucky Fried Chicken until his 70s. Like, it's never it's never too late. Like, just keep grinding, keep going, and enjoy the process. People are so obsessed with the money and, 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 and the influence and the, and the fucking fame and the likes on fucking post and this and that. Enjoy the process because in a blink of an eye, you're 50 years old and it's gone. Do you want to regret, regret what you did? Or you want to be happy with your life at that time, right? I was watching a video on a guy. He said, I'm going to tell you how to get some perspective on life. Go to a nursing home for one week and sit with 80 and 90 year olds. And that will really give you perspective on life. They will tell you their regrets and what they wish they did and what they wish they didn't do, right? So... It just, I just got on here because I was just like reading comments and, and, and stuff on Instagram and Facebook and watching YouTube and people just whining and complaining about certain situations. Like we're young. Like I'll be, I'm 29 years old. I'll be 30 this year. Like I still have two and a half, hopefully two and a half of these lifetimes to live. Right. And I've already accomplished, you know, my fucking second place now i own this house this is the house where i live at right it's my second house or whatever first one was an apartment but it's my second house and i got it when i was 27 turning 28 years old right so I, that's a good accomplishment for me but i didn't start until i was 25 like i didn't start getting my life together until i was 25 and and, and being mature and taking care of my responsibilities so really I've only been doing this, you know, grown up working shit for the last three to four years, going on five years, right? So, like, I know if I keep pushing, I can accomplish a lot more. That's why, you know, I work, a, I work a job. I'm a longshoreman at the Port of Baltimore in the Union. I have a side hustle. I have a YouTube channel. I have Facebook. I've been getting paid off of Facebook. Just stuff like that, like. It, you're, it's never too late like people just get so in their head like oh my god i'm 45 it's too late i can't i'm done my life's over you you're gonna you're 45 the average life expectancy expectancy is 75 years old so you're 45 right you got 30 more years 
to hit 75 years old. You might live to 90. You don't know. You know what you can do in 30, 40 years? A lot of shit. You can make a lot of shit happen, right? And you got to be happy along the way during the process, right? So I just wanted to hop on here because I just be hearing a lot of people bitching, complaining, whining about, you know, shit like that. But it just blows my mind, you know, and I talked to my wife about it. Like, people got to stop being afraid to fail and worrying about what other people think. And, you know, uh, just because, you know, your best friend just bought a brand new car doesn't mean you got to go buy one. You got to worry about your circumstances, your financial abilities. You can't live above your means, you know. Like a lot of people, they'll get a they'll get a pay raise at work and they'll go buy something. Or you gotta you gotta live but within your means, right? So for example, right, this year I just got another pay raise, right? I went from twenty four an hour to thirty five an hour. That's a good jump, right? But I didn't I didn't raise my lifestyle. I kept my lifestyle the same and the rest of the money I try to invest it. Put it into crypto and stocks and my IRA. You know what I mean? So people just got to stop worrying about everybody else and compete with themselves. Try to be the better you, you know what I mean, next year. And it's never too late. Like, even if you're in your 50s, like, dude, you got some time, bro. You got, if you're in your 50s, you got at least another 20, 30 years, hopefully, you know, as long as you don't get hit by a bus or something. But for the most part, you know, you got fucking time. You, you know, you can get done in 20 years. You can do a lot of shit in 20 years, right? So, sorry for the rant. I just wanted to get on here and say that because I just felt like, you know, it was on my chest and some, maybe some people hear that and it might help them. But it's never too late. If you're 30 years old or in your 30s or just hit 40 and you're not where you want to be, do you have fucking time. If you don't like the job you're at, fucking leave. There's plenty other jobs out there that'll pay you what you're worth or what you want, Right? So, just think about that. Like, don't keep yourself stuck in a situation where you're not happy. At the end of the day, everything's about being happy. You want to be happy with your life, right? If you're not happy with your life, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. If you're happy with your life and you're not complaining, I have no advice for you. You fucking, you, you're successful in my eyes. You want it. We got to stop comparing success to money. That's not it. Success is if you are content and happy with your life. That is what success is. It's not about money. It's not about a dollar sign. It's about are you happy with where your life is? That is success. All right, I'm going to end my rant. I hope you all have a good day. Thanks for listening.